Good morning, guys. It's the Frugal Nista, and I do mean morning. You may be watching this at night, but guys, it is early, early in the morning, and I've been out finding. Now, last year, this time, I don't think I had started finding, but uh, in a few short weeks, I'll be coming up on probably like a year of doing this. Yeah, in about a couple of more weeks, it'll be a year of me doing this. When I first got started, guys, I was so excited to show you guys every little piece of thing that I would find. Now, I've been making a conscious decision not to go out because when I go out, I find stuff. <laughs> this was just 30 minutes this morning. I got up really early. I hit the, I hit the ground about 5 o'clock. And normally, I don't get up that early. I usually go right before the stores open. Uh, and when I go out, guys, I find stuff. Um, I, I, it's, it's just a blessing. I, there's no other way I can explain it. I do get your message just saying that, well, I went out and I didn't find anything. The only thing I can tell you, tell you is to be persistent and say a prayer. It does work. And, I, and thank them when you do just get it. And that's what I'm doing now. This is my way of showing and being grateful and thanking him for uh, the things that I found this morning. And I am, it is such a blessing, guys. So I was blessed and I, I wanted to... Uh, you know, pass the blessing on and show you guys what I picked up as a result of me getting up this morning and just going out and looking. Um, if you're new to my videos, I go around and I rescue things from the landfills. Um, there are several different ways you can describe it. I like describing it as finding free stuff. I heard a very... Um, nice lady on YouTube who shares also mom the eBayer she described herself as an environmental an, an environmentalist I gotta learn to pronounce it but I thought that was really a, a beautiful way to explain what I do and uh, I'm gonna start using that and I, I told her that also and it, check her out guys if you don't follow her she is the sweetest uh, love her videos and she is probably uh, one of the main people that I watch on YouTube who actually got me started doing this. But enough of that, guys. Let's see what I found this morning really, really quick. I'll start over here. Look at this uh, space saver. Okay, right here. And y'all know that they, you know, spray it out on the box. But inside, guys, we're good. And just in case we're not... Um, as you can see, another subscriber gave me this tip, and I want to pass this on also to be a blessing to someone else because she definitely blessed me. You know, you can scrub this out and try to use different cleansers and things, and just with a little bit of elbow grease, this will come out. But guess what, guys? Easy Off Oven Cleaner takes this off without the elbow grease. It literally melts the spray paint off of your items that get hit. So, um... I, nine times out of ten, and probably ten times out of ten, all the proponents are in here. I don't even worry about that anymore. I take it as is to my flea market and sell it. Uh, sometimes I assemble it because sometimes people are kind of hesitant to buy box items thinking that they, you know, don't have all of the hardware in it. And this was uh, listed at 70 bucks. Yeah, 70 bucks from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Also, another item, here is a hamper, laundry hamper, wooden. Again, here's the price, here. And they took it down to there, I guess it didn't sell. And the reason why they, you know, it, it just said packaging. I guess the package wasn't pretty, which really blows me when they say that. But it was hit with the spray paint on the inside. I don't think they did this one as much, but again, that easy off oven cleaner. Takes it right off, guys. Takes the spray paint right off. And then, in that same... I can't remember where I picked this up from. It might have been... Anyway, I picked this up. A little wedding day ensemble. And I'm actually helping a young lady with her wedding in December. And I'll see if we can use this. The only thing that's wrong with this is one of the uh, champagne flutes uh, have been cracked. But, you know, you can get champagne flutes with, you know, get it engraved with the bride and groom's name on it, the date and things like that. So we're just going to easily replace those and just, you know, swap that out for another set of beautiful champagne flutes that honestly, guys, you can pick some up 
you know, from the, your Dollar Tree if you wanted to and get their, you know, names engraved on it. So we're going to do that, okay? Over here are a couple of um, vases from Michael's that I picked up. Now these do need a little TLC and I will doctor them up. I've been finding a lot of these guys, I guess in packaging when they actually come to the store because they are so fragile, sometimes they get damaged. And um, they always split kind of in the same spots. And I'm just going to fix that by probably hot gluing some maybe twine. Do a big thing of twine along that and possibly try to sell that. So I have that one in this color and then I have this one like in an ebony black. Same thing happened there. And that can be easily, you know, covered up with some hot glue or some, you know, glue and twine. I was thinking about twine. Or, you know, I've got some sparkle ribbon that, you know, I paid nothing for that you could do that. Back there also came from Michael's, that beautiful uh, picture of that flower in a teal. And, um, yeah, put that out. That would definitely sell for me. Very nice. This is a piece um, that came from Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. A big cooler. Five-gallon cooler. Yep. All it needs is cleaning up, take that easy off, and there you go. Look at this, guys. Isn't this pretty? It's an insulated bag. And inside, look at all these flowers I found. I'll use all of those in my crafting. But I thought this was really cute. Beautiful chevron, orange and pink. Really, really nice. Okay. A couple of, um, what do you call these thingies? Paper lanterns and some pretty summer festive colors. Speaking of festive, look at these guys. Here are some lights, a couple of uh, pictures. I found two more of those uh, mason jars. This one is in the package, which is fine. And this one is missing the lid, but I'll still sit that out. Somebody will pick that up from me. And what I've been doing, guys, because, again, I, you know, when I see things, I'm kind of running into the same problems or the same things. I keep these for parts because even though this is cracked here, I can use this piece in another one if I find it. So, perfect example. This piece is cracked, so they got rid of it. This proponent comes out of it, and I'll just stick it in this one, and then I'll have a new one. <laughs> and then here's a green one. I couldn't find anything wrong with that one except maybe the packaging came off. I'll stick that out or use it. Those little uh, festive lights. Uh, here's something from Joanne Fabric. I thought this was cute. It's a super satchel series. I guess it's a crafting, something to uh, hold your crafting supplies. Uh, this is on clearance for $14.97. Everything's there, guys. Really, really nice. A cute little art bin. I was thinking about it, even for Marabella. She's not really into Rainbow Loom anymore, but she had like all of these Rainbow Loom things. And that would be great to store that in. Really nice. I couldn't see anything wrong with that. There's another storage container that I picked up. That went on clearance for $10. Originally it was $40, $39.99. Yep, really nice. Here's something else. This is a deluxe household organizer. And everything is in here. Okay, just got to go in with some easy off and get that off of it, and that will be fine. And I think that's it, guys. Oh, my Keurigs. Check these out, guys. Still finding these by the truckloads, but I found, you know, a bunch of mini ones. Here's one in black. That's actually actually perfect nothing wrong with it I'll plug it in this one got hit with a little bit you know paint here look at this gorgeous yellow one now this is so cute I could see this in a dorm room or if your kitchen had these hot colors maybe you had you know black appliances and this big yellow Keurig sitting would just you know set it off there's another black one back there and that's actually pollen guys that's not even spray paint that's pollen on that one um, yeah, and then I found a couple of manuals. I always keep those. And I think that's it. Oh, what's in this bag? 
Oh, I found a whole bunch of bags of stuff from. Let's look and see. Here is some styling gel. A whole bunch of stuff. Argon oils and I have no idea what this is. I don't know if that's fingernail polish or what. I'll go through all of this. Pominate, wax, detangler. Yeah, I'll go through all of this stuff and see what is what. But yeah, guys, the frugal nista is still doing her thing. Uh, so grateful to be doing it. And want to show you a quick little haul that I did this morning. So get up, get out, and get moving. If first you don't succeed, try, try again. If I can offer any advice to anybody, let me know. But the bottom line is, is get up and see. If it's legal in your area, y'all know I don't give legal advice. But I will tell you, if you get up and take a peek, you might come home with some stuff like this also. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Have a good day. Hey, guys. It's the Fugal Nista back again. I told you. Look at that. I just cleaned this up. It took me two seconds. The easy off oven cleaner. Don't even bother with the off brands. They don't work. I know this <laughs> for a fact. Look at there. All clean. Brand new. It had never been used. I guess maybe it was stored in a warehouse somewhere, but it took that pink spray paint right off. Yep. All right, guys. Thanks for watching again. Bye.